Hello, my name is Dominic Beck and I'm the CEO of Intel on Optics. I want to thank OIS for giving me the opportunity to introduce Intel on Optics and our flagship development of BOSS, the Brilliant Optical Scanning System, to you today. Inspired by the many contributions OCT and other diagnostic techniques have made in the past two decades to morphological imaging in the eye, Intel on Optics is poised to bring biomechanics imaging to ophthalmology. We are determined to deliver the BOSS technology in a much shorter period, however. We believe this is possible because biomechanical properties, if measured in vivo and specific to a patient, are very critical to enhance patient screening and the control and guidance of demanding ocular surgery and therapy. We all know that the need to understand and measure biomechanical properties is established amongst specialists. The BOSS technology was developed at the Wellman Center for Photomedicine at Harvard Medical School by Professor Andy Yun. And we have built a distinguished team in management and an advisory board with an extraordinary depth of experience in developing and commercializing diagnostic devices in ophthalmology. Intel and Optic believes that imaging tissue biomechanics is the missing link to better screening and near-perfect outcome control through enhanced diagnostics and guidance for ocular surgery. We all know that the forces that act within the eye affect the structures of the ocular tissue directly and have an immediate impact on the optical function by altering the eye's shape. Biomechanics properties are ultimately what determine the shape of the eye. Imaging biomechanics of the eye is like taking a fingerprint of the mechanical structure of the ocular system and BOSS does this in an unprecedented and novel way. And once we understand the correlation between biomechanics and ocular function, both measured locally in high resolution and specific to an individual's eye, we can make much better predictions of how changes to the shape affect the patient's visual function. This is currently not possible. Today, the inability to measure ocular tissue biomechanics can account for surprise outcomes and diagnostic uncertainties more often than we want. And it is no surprise if one thinks about what role biomechanical properties play when the physiologic state of the eye is changed either surgically, therapeutically, or through disease progression. We know it impacts the eye's shape, quality of incision, and ablation how the eye's shape alters during healing process and ultimately the visual abilities of the patient. Because there is nothing one can do during surgery to account for the patient's specific biomechanics properties, it is important to measure them beforehand. And also, because we do not know how biomechanics impacts the progression of refractive disorders, it is important to measure biomechanics properties regularly as part of the follow-up routine. We see BOSS becoming a standard of care to further optimize laser vision correction, astigmatic correction, and corneal cross-linking, as well as for screening patients at risk for developing keratoconus, ectasia, and potentially even high myopia and glaucoma. BOSS delivers non-contact high-resolution stiffness data in three dimensions. This will give physicians enhanced decision-making confidence and improve customized control for surgery and therapy. As for the patient, we believe that this will deliver safety and outcome quality beyond what is currently possible and will allow screening for precursors of refractive disorders earlier. The BOSS technology uses a scanning confocal laser beam and detects the difference between the outgoing and returning laser beams reflected by the tissue in its focal point. We are interested in the spectral shift that occurs, which is directly correlated to the modulus of elasticity at that point. By mapping the region of interest, we generate stiffness maps in two and three dimensions. What you can see here in this current mo is, is the current mobile prototype on the top right and typical stiffness maps on the bottom. The bottom left image shows a normal eye with topography and pachymetry on the top and the corresponding boss stiffness map on the bottom. In the middle, we show an eye with advanced keratoconus with, with topography and pachymetry on the top and the corresponding boss stiffness map on the bottom. And at the bottom right, you see a stiffness map of a corneal segment measured with BOSS showing expressed heterogeneity between the peripheral and the central areas. To date, we have measured more than 120 patients in a number of IRB-approved clinical trials at MGH in Boston. 
Initial safety and feasibility studies shows that BOSS is absolutely safe and effective for use on human corneas in vivo at about 10% of the laser safety limits. Now let's shift gears to our commercial objectives. With BOSS imaging, we will target a variety of visual disorders in ophthalmology, covering a wide age range from the young to the aged. The markets we are targeting are important disease areas and with over $1 billion in current spending are substantial in size, immediately addressable and diversified in demographic and geographic reach. Initially, we intend to address the cornea biomechanics opportunities for applications such as keratoconus detection, laser vision correction and astigmatic correction. We believe that the technology can be rolled out in stages over the next three to five years. We will initially focus on the corneal refractive and later on the cataract refractive segment, which include about 24,000 accounts in the selected developed markets worldwide. To do that, we are currently raising a Series A of $5 million, which we will use to accelerate building clinical value and reaching key regulatory milestones. And I look forward to hearing from interested parties. I want to thank you for your attention, and I look forward to being in touch with you. Thank you very much.